there are today we have with miss deepa who secured all india rank 11 with electrical engineering stream in engineering service exam 2023 we are proud to say that deepa is our student with the pre recorded classes it is called as online or as deep plus and also she has taken mains live classes and also postal coaching everything so miss deepa please introduce about yourself uh sir so i am uh, i am deepa and i am working in central public works department i am working as junior engineer there now it has been 5 years in my uh, department i actually took uh, is uh, classroom coaching on uh, 2016 17 time i have to oh, so at, at, at that time my gate rank was around 1200 oh. and uh, uh, i didn't clear esc prelims that time oh. so uh, around the same time i got uh, ssc j so mm. i joined uh, uh, as a junior engineer here Mm. then after a gap of 5 years uh, mm. i actually worked with many ias officers in my oh. department itself so uh, i uh, i was motivated to try once again by my family members mm. so again after a gap of 5 years i decided i will uh, give a try once again mm. so i tried i uh, used this uh, recorded deep learn program of ace so oh. uh, that uh, actually uh, my time management was my main issue since i was working yes so uh, since it was a recorded class uh, i could watch in my free time like uh, right. i used to uh, do that from morning 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock because after okay. that uh, i would i will be busy with my job evening also my time was limited so mm. actually that recorded classes helped me a lot mm. then uh, i secured uh, all uh, gate rank of uh, 348 in this okay. year 2023 mm. and uh, simultaneously around the same time i cleared the prelims uh, mm. then uh, i uh, uh, prepared for the descriptive part mm. uh, so and uh, that also i got uh, this uh, postal coaching and all the study materials from mm. me so uh, mm. i prepared for that that was my serious prepara- preparation 3 months uh, so that i prepared like anything and mm. uh, then interview and <laughs> finally i am here you know miss deepa have a doubt uh, you are working yes, you resigned and started preparation again after a long time means a five years gap yes uh, is there i did uh, resign what do you really think about success or failure if i fail what will happen Uh, sir actually i uh, initially i didn't have the confidence to attend esc again yes. actually i i was the second ranker at the university level for btec in kerala mm. Mm. so uh, uh, so at that time i was like uh, very depressed when i didn't even clear the prelims but mm. at the same time i also knew that i prepared for gate i did in the prepare for the general studies paper of esc Mm-hmm. so that was my mistake i understood that but still i didn't didn't have that confidence to try again for esc mm-hmm. but uh, this time uh, since i already had a job and uh, i was like uh, okay it is secure so at that time i wanted to try once again because all my i, I my all the all my officers i was working with their ias officers so uh, they actually kind of motivated me a lot then okay. i had uh, ample support from my husband also so he also okay. told uh, like uh, do it once again uh, we will see like that so at he's the, also uh, government officer uh, he is also working as uh, je currently he got promoted two days back he actually got promoted as e congratulations congratulations <laughs> so uh, yeah so everything oh, anyway. happened with respect to prelims exam is deepa yes uh, this time how you have prepared for general studies uh, sir actually um, for along with gate i prepared the technical papers so it was not a problem for me no. uh, then uh, general studies i actually took a separate uh, uh, that uh, deep learn itself there was a separate course called general studies yes correct so uh, then uh, max and general aptitude i could handle in the normal cases so that i didn't prepare 
then uh, other subject like uh, ethics um, and uh, this uh, uh, other part uh, upper project management part so all those things there was a separate course for general studies in that uh, is online yes. yes so i took that two mm. weeks or uh, two weeks only i got for that uh, preparation mm. Uh, mm. because it was after gate uh, till yeah. esc prelims exam so at that time i gave this and i qualified prelims uh, with respect to technical object paper right in paper 2 uh, 150 questions uh, 3 hours what yes, is sir. your uh, strategy in the exam hall of attempting means have you started question number 1 to last question or any other pattern you followed uh sir uh, actually i uh, i generally have a tendency to start from the first question itself so it is uh, generally i try that so uh, same thing i followed here uh, mm. but if i felt like uh, i uh, didn't know this question very much means i did not waste my time on that mm. so i just put a circle on that uh, question and uh, finally i finish all that all first round i will finish and second time based okay. on the time i have uh, i will attend that if it is doubtful i generally don't attend because negative marking is the yes. problem see uh, calculator is not allowed in a prelims exam yes sir uh, what have you have you done with respect to the numerical questions uh, sir uh, i i solved it with uh, means uh, hands only i mean uh, uh i i mean so my i am a, a little bit fast in problem solving part Access. generally so i don't generally have this uh, time limiting problems so i try to finish beforehand so i okay. didn't have that problem actually okay coming to the mains exam it is purely conventional paper okay yeah. uh, while preparing for the mains yes. what approach you have followed whether you had any writing practice of the uh solutions what was your strategy uh sir my strategy for conventional uh, was actually uh, i uh, prepared all the previous year question booklet that was okay. the primary thing i did uh-huh. then along with that along with that previous year question uh, not only i studied that answers from the booklet uh, at the same time with respect to the question i also referred those topics more mm so i selected those topics because my i prepared for descriptive only for 3 months okay so uh. Uh, numerical part i got it from gate so that was not a problem uh, mm. so uh, uh, so theory part i will choose those topics uh, from the previous year booklet and then mm. i prepared that from the study material uh, from is so like that i did whether any previous questions are similar model questions uh, got repeated in the exam mains yes exam? sir uh, mostly all are like uh, repeated only numerical only values will change so uh-huh. if we prepare for gate i think numerical part we will get uh-huh. and mostly i feel it is repeated questions not too much but uh, we can uh, we can get esc if we prepare previous questions so you strongly recommend uh, practicing previous year questions yes sir i strongly recommend okay coming to the interview how much yes. time you have spent in the interview board sir interview uh, it was around 30 to 35 minutes i think what they ask basically when you uh, enter sir, the interview board i I I was actually very tense when I reached the UPSC uh, office. Uh, so uh, and also I, I was a uh, like I, my six colleagues were there uh, with me for my interview. I was the only girl in that batch. Okay. So uh, so when I entered uh, itself, uh, I wished uh, all the uh, interview board members. and uh, my chairman uh, chairman uh, ma'am was actually uh, uh, preeti ma'am so mm. uh, so madam was like very pleasant so mm. i wished her uh, she told me to sit down and uh, uh, the, and then madam was like don't be tensed like mm. that madam told mm. so uh, uh, but my interview experience was uh, one of the fine experience so mm. first they told me like uh, they read out my uh, daf uh, yeah. form 
Uh, so in that, uh, since I was from CPWD and I, I was working in CPWD for the five years, so my mm. majority, 80 percentage of the questions I got from my department itself, like my work profile, what I do, uh, and uh, means um, uh, regarding solar uh, power plants, they are not solar, not power plants, uh, this uh, uh, photovoltaic PV cells and all, I got some questions. Uh, then uh, in from power system, I got some questions from uh, mm. power grid side. Uh, then from machines, I got few questions from another ma'am. Uh, mm. My panel was like three ladies and uh, one uh, male. So uh, or, or I think uh, the sir actually asked me about uh, power system. So mm. the one ma'am asked me about machines. Uh, so it mm. was generally regarding DC machines. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think induction machine also I got. Uh, then uh, the other ma'am again asked about my experience in CPWD. So regarding solar panels, how 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 we will maintain those mm -hmm. panels? Uh, then uh, how do we wire our building like that? So uh, gotcha. like uh, job experience only they asked. Okay. So Any questions for your uh, Kerala state uh, places of study? About your personal life, etc. No, actually, they asked me uh, almost, uh, I think, uh, 70 to 80, they asked me job profile. So, personal questions were not there, actually. Any questions on hobbies? No, hobbies. hobbies no, no, I didn't get. So, mostly, you are very fortunate to ask questions on technical side, yes, job sir. experience. Job etc. experience, yes, sir. So, now I have two simple questions. You have spent some time with the CPWD, etc., etc. Yes, sir. Even though you are, you said the university second ranker, you, yes, when you are not qualified in the first attempt in the prelims. You are a little yes. bit hard. What yes. suggestion you give to the students who are pursuing their B or B Tech right now, so that in the very first attempt they will be successful and they will not be uh, unhappy situation uh, like sir, my uh, my only suggestion is that uh, you should not give up till your dream is reached that mm. is my only suggestion it is okay if you reach your dream at uh, 24 or if you reach at 28 or 30 that is okay but you should not give up that is that is my first uh, first uh, suggestion because i actually gave up for some time so yes. i i I, I wouldn't recommend that so, uh, only suggestion is that don't ever give up until your goal is reached. So, the, and also when, whenever we prepare, if we prepare the basics very well from BTEC itself, I think from third year, fourth year itself, we can prepare very well. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I would recommend to, uh, during that period itself, if we give a serious preparation, we can actually get it. So, but even if we don't get uh, prepare again, try again. That is that is the only thing. That is See, only nowadays, thing. The, the core branches, electrical, mechanical, civil, are completely in doldrums. Almost in engineering colleges, very few students are taking up these branches. Yes, sir. What is the motivation you can give to those who joined electrical engineering or those who are aspiring to take engineering, electrical engineering in future? So electrical engineering is basically one of the oldest branches of engineering and it is a basic branch of engineering. Mm -hmm. So I would say that uh, if, if we have a strong passion for electrical, because from uh, 12th standard physics itself, I, I was actually attracted, even though I, at that time I didn't know this electrical engineering is the basics for th uh, that particular subject. At that time we were talking about current electrons as the so, but at the electrostatics, I would say, but uh, uh, at that time itself, I was actually attracted to this, even, even when I didn't know I would choose electrical engineering. So, uh, so that if we have such passion or attraction towards electrical engineering, I would recommend to go to uh, this branch. But uh, I, at the same time, I also feel like... Uh, uh, I was I actually like the mechanical engineering also when I did my first year BTEC. My top mm -hmm. uh, favorite subjects was electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I I uh, also heard from other students like uh, the civil mechanical and all. We can act. It is easy to visualize and study. 
i mean we can basically see all the things that is happening around but in electrical we need to have some sort of imagination also uh, so this this is there so if we are basically attracted to electrical engineering means we can pursue that so every engineering has its own importance it is not like if the if one is not there other cannot survive all are interdependent only so uh, that is what i am saying See, generally, you know, because we have an engineering college also, it's engineering college. When yes. I speak to some other students, they say that electrical engineering is the toughest branch of engineering. <laughs> What is your opinion? I also had, uh, I also have uh, heard this opinion from many other students. Uh, uh, so, uh, when um, uh, I actually, it is not like electrical engineering is difficult. there are few okay. subject in electrical engineering which is difficult so uh, it is not right to say the, that the complete branch is difficult mm-hmm. i won't say that uh, but some subjects are indeed uh, difficult because the cmf and all it is little difficult uh, when compared to other but there are also easy subjects like control systems uh, uh, mm-hmm. so like network the, theory <laughs> yeah network theory so uh, and these are also our scoring subjects So every if somebody is strong in mathematics and yes, physics, sir. I think electrical engineering is a key part. Yes, that is mm-hmm. true, sir. Mm-hmm. And anyway, thank you, congratulations once again, Deepa ji. So thank can you. we, uh, our uh, namaskarams to your parents and uh, and to your husband also, loving husband who supported you like anything for your yes. preparation after lunch. Okay, uh, sir, thank you, thank you. Thank sir uh, one one minute sir uh, sir i would like uh, to thank hello ah uh, hi yes 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 sir i would also like to thank my family my parents my sister and her family and uh, also uh, my husband and my department my aes and ees they all supported me like anything to pursue this because i didn't resign actually the job i worked along with it so everyone was like supporting me to a great extent and same way the during the interview guidance also i received support from ac academy mm-hmm. uh, actually i got the same marks in the mock interview as ace i got 140 marks and it is the Achha, top you, you got marks now uh, yes sir so you got uh, 140 uh, i got 140 in it i think it may, it may be one of the highest marks <laughs> yes sir it is the highest mark and that Congrats! Huh? Yeah, proud of you. Five, five to six people got it. So uh-huh. same marks I got from the interview panel of Ace also. So yes, also. Great. Okay. So thank you, sir. Thank you to Ace also. Sir. Got it. Okay, sir. Thank you.